don't know if he's sincere or if he's or if he's trolling. I don't know what's going on with that guy, or if he's just a straight up empath or something. But he was bawling his eyes out with Brendan. It's like, uh, all right. Um, <laughs> I don't know who. Uh, I don't know what to make of him. Like maybe he's actually a really sweet guy, and he. I don't know. You know, he actually looks up to Brendan like for real, for real. He sees him like a hermano, you know. You kind of remind me of the boys I grew up with, man. Hey, Holmes, you know. You kind of remind me of the boys I grew up with, hermano. Coach Brendan talks baseball. So for my guys and girls in the stream chat who know baseball, what do you think about his comments here? And when I, what I told him, I said, I said, buddy, you're a shop. You know what your, your grandpa's known for? You know what I was no, I'm known for? It? My work ethic, buddy. I can, and I told him, I said, I'm fine if you strike out 100 times. I'm fine if you drop balls. I'm not fine. The one thing you control is hustle. You better be hustling your ass off. I said, because when I was at University of Colorado, the one thing I was, I was the hardest worker in the room. And Any Brandon, room I go into, I'm the hardest and worker. And Brandon, I'm going to teach him to hustle because they don't know. Yeah, they, he does it. And, so we're literally and I would get so frustrated. Him. But that's, but, but we, again, it's Because like, I'd be like, move, dude. Get he, going. He, he doesn't know. I know. <laughs> You're a shorb. Your grandfather, like, what? <laughs> If Brendan's not careful, this guy's going to take his kids and his wife. He's got to be careful. <laughs> if Brendan doesn't keep an eye open, this guy's going to take his child and his wife. This is my children now. Like, be careful, Brendan, bro. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Let's do that once one more time. You're a shorb. I love the vein. You can tell he's passionate when he speaks like this because the vein pops out in his neck. Look at the vein there. And when I, what I told him, I said... I said, buddy, you're a shop. You know what your your grandpa's known for? You know what I was no, I'm known for? My work ethic. What? No, what do you say, Nawaz? What's that, Nawaz? Your grandpa's known about Nawaz. What's a Nawaz? I said, buddy, you're a shop. You know what your your grandpa's known for? You know what I was no, I'm known for? Nawaz. Well, I said, I said, buddy, you're a shop. You know what your your grandpa's known for? You know what I was no, I'm known for? My work ethic, buddy. I can, and I told him, I said, I'm fine if you strike out 100 times. I'm fine if you drop balls. I'm not fine. The one thing you control is hustle. You better be hustling your ass off. Is he <laughs> How old is this kid? Is he like seven? Or is he 13? <laughs> he's having these conversations with these kids like, like he's playing in the, I don't know, like he's in the LA Dodgers Academy or something. This kid is like seven years old or something, isn't he? Because when I was at University of Colorado, the one thing I was, I was the hardest worker in the room. When you were pine, what, what's that thing called in football? When you were pine, the bench warmer. One thing I was a hard worker. Weren't you a bench woman? Though? Any room I go into, I'm the hardest worker. Brandon, I'm going to teach them to hustle because they don't know. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. No quiero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's even right. What is I don't know in Spanish? It's not no quiero, is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's no quiero, but it sounds good in my head. I don't think it is no quiero. No pasa. No, no, no. What is it? No. What is it? No, yo no sé. Yo no sé. No sabe. Yo no sé or no sabe. Brendan, no sabe. No, yo no sé. No yo. <laughs> He does it, and, so we're literally and I would get so frustrated. Him. But that's, but, but we, again, it's Because like, I'd be like, move, dude, get going. Yeah, he doesn't know. I know. It's odd, isn't it? Like, why is he being so, why is he talking about his seven-year-old like this? Like, when I was that age, or even if you show the talent in, because I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up and stuff, there were kids in my area who were obviously really gifted at sports, and some of them ended up becoming professional. But usually, I don't think, Without exception, I think every kid in my area who I grew up with who became a professional athlete, they were usually those annoying kids that were good at everything. They were good at football, basketball, cricket, whatever. Any sport, they were good at it. And usually their parents just encouraged them to do everything. And then you obviously focus when you get later, you know, sorry, when you grow up, you basically focus and prioritize the thing that you actually want to do. But when you're that age, under 10 and stuff, you just play everything. It doesn't matter what you play. You play everything, you just have fun with your friends, you hang out, and then when you're older, you decide what path you want to go down. 
but he's like really pushing the baseball thing like really like like pushing the baseball yeah like running hills and it's like bro he's seven or however however old he is he looks really young anyway he looks really small so i don't think he's over 10 years old it's like it's a bit much isn't it like he's gonna make the kid hate baseball man he's gotta relax like take your hand off of him a little bit just let it you know let it happen you got the coach there trying to teach the kid how to hustle and gr how to grind and how to sell tamales on the street corner. It's like, bro, he's he, he's he, he's seven years old. Like, just give him a fucking lolly and keep it moving. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not that deep, man. Back to long story short, I've been really into country. Like, I've always been to country, but it's, well, it's, country's heavy right now. And I think I I, I give that credit to uh, maybe it's. <laughs> I've always been into country. Always been a gearhead. Let's see. <laughs> Back to long story short, I've been really into country. Like I've always been to country, but it's, uh, country's heavy right now. And I think I, I, I give that credit to. Well, I've got a little bit right there, a bit down. It's too too high. Uh, maybe it's like this Fort Worth. Long story short, I've been really into country. Like I've always been to country, but it's, uh, country's heavy right now. And I think I. Uh, Country's heavy right now. What does that even mean? Country's heavy. Does it mean like sick, like good, or heavy like it's the contents of country music is too dark? Is country going through an emo phase or something? Is country going through a goth phase? <laughs> what? I I give that credit to uh, maybe it's like this Fort Worth dream or something like yeah, that. No, yeah, it's yeah. space, man. Because yeah. look what you've built here. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's space. I give it to the Fort. What's a Fort Worth dream? Is that like an arena or something? What is that? What music, what music, or what, what country music guy are you liking, or what's your... Um, I mean, really all of it. I just put on Spotify. <laughs> you know him answering that question. What kind of artists do you like? I like all of them, all the, sp all the country. Um, Africa, uh, Sweden... <laughs> Austria, <laughs> Thailand, all the countries. John, Africa, of course. But you know what that reminds me of? Um, who's that guy? Um, MLB hat. Who's that guy? Who's that guy that wore the, 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 the... Is it MLB? No. He wore the NFL hat. Who is that dude? Is it Rob Lowe? That's Rob Lowe, right? It's him. It reminds me of this guy. Do you, do you remember this iconic picture? <laughs> exactly. All of them. Exactly. What team you support? Do you remember this iconic picture of him sitting in the crowd wearing this? That's 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 Brendan's answer to the question. What country music? Because that's the thing. I'm not too sure if I wanna if I wanna dunk on this dude and laugh at him. He seems quite sincere. Like he's actually interested. Like because he he idolizes Brendan. Like Brendan, man, what kind of music are you into? Because I like country. He's like I, I like country too. I drive. I I listen. I'm banging country in my pickup truck. So, what do you think, man? What kind of country do you like, Brendan? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Let's go back. And cause yeah, look what you built here. Yeah, it's amazing. So, space. What music? What music? Or what what country music guy are you liking? Or what's your? Um, <laughs> I mean, really, all of it. I just put on Spotify and. <laughs> well, exactly. You can't even name Jelly Roll. All of them. That's him. That's fucking Brendan. That's the actually. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Okay, before you guys get angry, that's going to be the thumbnail. When I make a clip, I'm going to make the thumbnail. That's going to be Brendan's face and that of Rob Lowe's body. That's fucking hilarious, man. What's What, what do you like? All of them. Just you, 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 when you heart things and it gets like an algorithm. Anybody in particular that you're liking? Or um, song or I mean, of course, Morgan Wallen, who's huge right now. What's your favorite song of his? <laughs> <laughs> he can't. He doesn't have one. You're not talking to a real... You're talking to a fake, man. This guy thinks he's talking to, like, a real human being. He doesn't have a Morgan Wallen's... He doesn't... He can't name you one Morgan Wallen song. Wallen, how do you fucking pronounce his name? He can't name you one. He'd be like, uh... Nigger? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I can't even name you the song, brother. <laughs> It's the first time he did it <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, why are you doing this to me, man? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? He's looking at him like, come on, hermano. Por qué? Por qué? 
<risa> Chico, ¿por qué? <risa> <laughs> and look, he's he's actually like, look, look at his face. <sighs> yeah, all, the, all his stuff is good. My boy Jelly Roll's crushing it. I think yeah. I all his stuff is good. What's your favorite track from Jelly Roll? What's your favorite track from Morgan Wallen? All his stuff is good. <laughs> all his stuff. You know, obviously he's a buddy, so I, I gravitate towards him. Um, I mean, all of it, man. I <laughs> <laughs> he can't name a single one. Oh, such a good clip. All of it. <laughs> all the country. <laughs> John Africa. <laughs> oh, God, that was fucking brilliant, man. Oh, Mo. Oh. <laughs> Chicano Thomas as fuck. <laughs> Great music, never heard it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. NJ Ranger. Oh, yeah. Let's get that clip. Can I find that? Let's get that clip. Please, can I find that? Please, can I find that? Please, 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 please. Let's see if I can find that. Please, because that's one of my favorite Trump clips. That one and that one where the guy hands him the piece of paper that shows he's lying, and he looks at it and he's like, he, he, he look, he pretends that like he can't read and throws it away. Like that's really fun. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Bible. Okay. You mentioned the Bible. You've been talking about how it's your favorite book. And you said, I think last night in Iowa, some people are surprised that you say that. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal. So I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no verse I, that means I, a I lot just, to you that you think about or cite. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into it. The Bible means a lot to me. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like. No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. I think it's just an incredible. <laughs> Are you an Old Testament or New Testament equal? <laughs> the whole Bible is an incredible. I joke uh, very much so. They always hold up the art of the deal. I say my second favorite book of all time. But. Uh, I just think the Bible is just something very special. <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay. You mentioned the Bible. You've been talking about how it's your favorite book. And you said, I think last night in Iowa, some people are surprised that you say that. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favorite <laughs> Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. personal. You know, when I talk it's about the Bible, Bible, it's very personal. personal. So I don't want to get into it. I don't no want to get into it. No, no, no. It means a lot to you that you think about or cite. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into <laughs> specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like. No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. equal. I think it's just an incredible... The whole he got the world there. Is that probably he thought, they thought he's gonna answer? Probably mind your business, <laughs> probably it's private. You know, <laughs> he got them there really good. <laughs> Even to cite a verse, that no, you like. I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an old okay. testament guy or a new testament, guy? Uh, probably, probably equal. I think it's just. <laughs> Honestly, that was that was Brendan. That's fucking Brendan here. That's Brendan. That's fucking Brendan. That is literally him. Long story short, I've been really into country. Like I've always been to country, but country's heavy right now. And I think great I, country I, never met him. I give that credit to uh, maybe it's like this Fort Worth dream or something like yeah, that. No, yeah, it's yeah. space, man. Because yeah. look what you built here. Yeah, yeah man. it's amazing. So it's space. It's amazing. What music? What music? Or what, what country music what guy music? are you like? What's your favorite? I mean, really, all of it. I just put oh. on Spotify and it's just you, I put it, Spotify, it, it, country, heart things, and it gets like an algorithm. Anybody in particular that you're liking? Um, <laughs> I mean, of course, Morgan Wallen, who's huge Morgan right now. Wallen. What's your favorite song of his? Oh <laughs> man, um, um, I can't name you the song. Song, brother yeah <laughs> all, all his stuff is good all of them my boy jelly rolls crushing it i think yeah. I, you know obviously he's a buddy so I, I gravitate towards him um i mean all of it man i, I don't know what back to long oh honestly man so good that's yeah brother i 
I'm gonna tell you this from the bottom of my heart, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't hate this guy. I think he's actually sincere. Brendan has to be careful though, because he might take his family. But I think he's quite sincere. I can't really hate him. I don't know why. Maybe I'm a big softy, and I've got an emp. You know, my empath spirit is popping out here. But I can't help. I can't hate him, man. I can't hate him. I really can't. I can't dunk on him. Like he seems like a really cool, sweet dude. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Brother, I, I'm going to tell you this from the bottom of my heart, man. I might get emotional here. I can't thank you enough. No, <laughs> give me this time. Like I'm telling you. Make me cry. I, uh, I've been watching your career for a long time. <laughs> have you have been watching... Come on, she watching your career... Um, <laughs> but it's not, you know what let's take it back let's take it back it's good that Brendan is talking to people like this right because this guy's clearly a fan he loves him it's good he should be talking to more people like this he should be around more people that legitimately idolize him right they want to be driving the fucking pickup trucks they want the kids in Nikes they want the wife with the fucking big BBL right Maybe this is what he like. You could, as much as he's a redact, I can understand why some people would look at Brennan and, and see him as like goals or as motivation, right? So I get it. I understand. One more time in the beginning. Yeah. Brother, I, I'm going to tell you this from the bottom of my heart, man. I might get emotional here. I can't thank you enough. No, <laughs> give me this time. Brother. I'm telling you. Make me cry. I, uh, cry I've been watching your career for a long time and I appreciate you. Thank you. Man. What you do. For so many people, we met that for a reason, and, and and I wanted you to to feel <laughs> this energy that I'm coming to you with, because I know what it looks like in the world sometimes to you, but it ain't the real world. Yeah, the real world needs a guy like you to keep being a leader. Yep, to keep doing what you're doing, even if nobody's going west, and you're like, man, my heart tells me to go west, go west. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> no, I don't know what he's saying. I've been, I've been dying to reach out for a while, but I'm like, you know, because once you send a DM and, and you're like, ah, you know, but this to me is so important that I got to share this opportunity yeah, with I you, appreciate bro. So it, I'm brother. super, super oh, grateful. No, I'm grateful you came, man. I'm super grateful. Before I let you go, man, any questions for me, anything I can help you with? Uh, but, I mean, we're friends now, brother, so I'm going to be blowing you up, you know? See, you came into my life for a reason. You know, I don't believe in cunt. You know, just coincidences. You know, I, I believe we met for a reason, and uh, you know, I need the secret like by Brendan Shaw. You know, so I'm I'm super great. <laughs> what is this lame ass shit, man? What is this soft ass shit? <laughs> what? <laughs> Also, the guy said he's going to cry, but he didn't cry, did he? He said he's going to cry. Did he cry anywhere? Or am I bugging? He said he was going to cry, but he didn't actually cry. What happened? What's the tears? If you're going to cry, you better cry in front of me. I don't see the tears. Where are the tears? Where are the tears? Where are they? Huh. Nobody knows who you are. Because... I know what it looks like in the world sometimes to you, but it ain't the real world. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it, it is. It is. But hey, the real world needs a guy like you to keep being a leader. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ask B. Joe about Brendan Shaw, Brendan's leadership qualities. Ask Malik about Brendan Shaw's leadership qualities. Ask fucking MJ about Brendan Shaw's leadership qualities. Keep doing what you're doing. Even if nobody's going west, and you're like, man, my heart tells me to go west, go west. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And for some reason, the left headphone, like, they've fucked up the audio. So for some reason, Brendan comes through on the right side, and this guy comes through on the left side. Great podcast. Never met him. I've been, I've been dying to reach out for a while, but I'm like, you know, because once you send a DM, and you're like, ah, you know, but this to me is so important. <laughs> 
that I got to share this opportunity yeah, with I you, bro. So it, I'm brother. super, super oh, any grateful. I'm grateful any questions for me? <laughs> okay, man. I'm super grateful. Before I let you go, man, any questions for me? Anything I can help you? <laughs> nope. Uh, but I mean, we're friends now, brother. So I'm gonna be blowing you up, you know. Uh, 